O. Okay? But you know what? It's not supposed to happen. FIFA 10 was released in 2009, just in time for the release of Windows 7, so it should be fine. I wasn't the first to notice this, but there was no permanent solution. Until now. Without further ado, let's fix it. To get straight to the point, you need to download this little program called 4GB Patcher. Link in the description. I have to download it. I'm not even going to unzip it, just run the executable. As you can see, it's very small. 4GB Patcher will ask you to find the executable you want to patch. So navigate to your FIFA 10 directory and select the executable. That's it. That's all it needs. Now let me open the game. I'm already in a game, and let's select some teams just to load the 3D Match engine. And as you can see... Ze stanowiska komentatorskiego witają państwa Dariusz Szpakowski i Włodzimierz Szaranowicz. It just works. But I can actually use an overlay like Rivetuner or even stream the game directly to Discord. Mission success! Now, if you're one of those four people who wanted to know what actually happened, FIFA 10 is an old game. As such, it's a 32-bit application. It uses a maximum of 2 gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't matter if you have 8, 16, 32 or 64 gigs of RAM, an application will only use a maximum of 2. FIFA 10 uses 55 megabytes of that for its replay buffer. However, this memory allocation can fail, causing the memory leak and thus the crash. What 4GB patcher does is patch the executable to use 4GB of RAM, the maximum a 32-bit application can even handle. So as the amount of space available increases, the memory leak doesn't occur and the game engine will be loaded. So there we have it. FIFA 10 on PC is working again. Is it worth playing? Uh, let me put it this way. If you have an access to the Xbox 360 or PS3 version of this game, they are superior in every single way. That's the way to go. But hey, just because the PC version is inferior doesn't mean we shouldn't be able to run it, right? Before I end this video, shout out to two users from a soccergaming.com forum, Dmitry and Emma Ahmed who helped me diagnose the cause of a crash and provided me with a tool to work around it. Thanks for watching and see ya.